Hello peoples, I'm Fran and today we're going to have uh, my first perfume review video. I've never done one before but since recently I got in on the perfume train and I started ordering a bunch of samples online, I figured I might as well share my experiences and feedback with some of these scents. So this is not at all a professional um, review type thing. It's been done before. A lot of wonderful YouTubers take their time to actually research notes and do their thing. I'm not going to go into notes or anything like that. It's just more of an entertainment um, oriented type video where I tell you if I wore it or if I smelled it, what my impressions were, if anyone that I know commented anything on it and what it smells like to me. Um, people have different tastes, so how do you know if we're on the same vibe scent-wise? I'll just let you know that my everyday signature scent for the last almost 20 years has been Dior Addict, and I do enjoy vanilla scents. I like gourmand fragrances i know some words yes some perfume words i like gourmand fragrances but not britney spears type oh my god i'm gonna just puke if i smell this again type thing um i do not like victor and rolf flower bomb i cannot stand it uh i do not like dior jador my favorite vanilla perfume so far that I've sampled is Guerlain's Vanilla um, Spiritueuse Double Vanille. I don't have the full size bottle because they're a little bit expensive, so if anyone's feeling a little bit generous. <laughs> um, but I did go to this website, Surrender to Chance. Initially, I got a 2ml sample, and when I tried it and loved it, I went back and got the 5ml, which comes with a um, little spray. So that's what I've been using lately. I am combining it with another perfume and stay tuned for that because it's in the little discovery set that I'll be reviewing shortly. I will probably use some weird terms when describing the perfumes. One of them is um, cologne. -y. So when I say something smells cologne -y to me, it's like, do you remember I don't know if they still do it because I haven't been to a mall in ages, but when you used to walk in front of the Abercrombie store, or I think Hollister as well, that sort of like cologne smell, that's what I mean when I say cologne. -y. And there's another term I have used, and I know it's not an actual thing, but lotion-y, derived from the word lotion. It's like a filler type scent some fragrances have, where it's kind of generic kind of feminine not at all bad but not my thing okay so those are the terms and now you know sort of what I all mean just a quick note if you want to adjust the playback of my videos to make them go a little bit faster go ahead and do that because I tend to be a slow talker because I'm translating as I'm thinking so my first language is the Spanish so um sometimes I get sort of like blah, blah, blah. so if you want to play it back quicker go for it I won't be offended I mean I won't find out but it's fine I get it the first discovery set of perfumes I'll be reviewing is Maison Louis Marie and I had never heard of this until I saw a few YouTube reviews and I was very intrigued so I'll just be quickly going through spraying and smelling and telling you my impressions on them and then which one of these I got the full size from off so first we have Busval which is number 12 this is the sample again I didn't go and check the notes so I'm just gonna smell this one is a very normal scent it could be any it could be any of those Avon perfumes you got like 20 years ago off the catalog where they all seemed like they were different but they all smelled the same it's 
So it's normal. It's not bad. It's not offensive. It's kind of florally, kind of fresh. It's very feminine. I mean, maybe a guy could wear this. It has sort of a lemony type scent to me. I didn't love it for myself, so I just left it at that. But that one is number 12, Busval. Next one, we have number 9, Valet de Farnay. Okay, this one's a little bit stronger, not overwhelming, but it does smell more like a, like a stronger perfume. Okay, it's a little bit lotion-y. So it's as if you put on a lotion, someone gave you a gift set of lotions, and one day you were like, huh, what the fuck, I'll put this on. So you put it on, you feel clean. It's on my mouth. It's, I don't even know how to describe it. It's lotion-y. It's like feminine lotion-y. It has a little bit of lemon. Ugh, I don't, it wasn't my favorite. So that was, um. That was Valet de Fournay. Next one we have Antidris Cassis. Oh, this one smells like Christmas. Hmm. Yeah, I remember smelling this one when I got it. So it's like when you go the first time they have all the Christmas trees out wherever you go get your Christmas trees. Yes, like that fur, Fraser fur, Douglas fur, I don't know which fur. But it's what you want your house to smell like when you get a Christmas tree. It's pleasant, it is. Kind of like the scent of the tree and the bark, so. It's unisex. I do believe this is very unisex. It's fresh, non-offensive. You could wear it at the office. I don't, these don't have like great projection, which is good because you can just enjoy it to yourself. You can woof, like you can walk by so someone and they can smell you, but you won't be like making them gag. And this is nice. Yeah, that one was, um, Antidris Cassis. Then we have number two, Le Long Fond. So, to me, this one leans more masculine. It is a I can't even tell you what it is. So look up look up the notes for this number two Le Long Fawn. It's a very neutral type scent. It has a little bit of lotion in there, but not as strong as the other one. It could be an everyday scent if you don't mind not smelling like anything in particular. Just pleasant. I am terrible at this, I realize. Thank you for bearing with me. And now we get to the number one, number four. Their scent called Bois de Balincourt. So this is the one I really liked and fell in love with. And when you get the discovery set, you get a code for a 10% discount off of your purchase of a full size one. So I got this one. That's what the full size bottle looks like. And this scent, I'm not gonna put it on right now because I have other two on my arms, but this is, uh, this is like a mixture of a little bit of sweet vanilla, not gourmand, and sort of like a woodsy scent. My boyfriend described it as 
So his comment was, oh, you smell like a hamster, which might be offensive to some people, but if you know my boyfriend, that was a good thing because it means, because I asked him to, you know, expand on that. So it, it smells like the wood shavings you use for pets, which he likes, but it's not, you don't smell like an actual hamster. It's like woody and a little bit vanilla. -y. So with that in mind, I decided to try both of these together. So what I did was I sprayed on one arm first this one and then this one and then the other way around just to see if there would be any difference throughout the day um, with which perfume was in the bottom and which was at the top. There was none that I could perceive but it really brings out the sweetness because this was this one's not like super sweet it's like a hint of vanilla with the woodsy and a little bit of sweet but it's not like oh that's sweet so this vanilla the Guerlain Spiritueuse Double Vanille with the number four Bois de Valencourt together that has been my go to work scent for the last week and no one has been offended by my scent I have walked past them intentionally to let them smell it and everyone has had very positive comments so this is this combo is very work safe